All right. 2009 level two, which is junior senior test. Um, this problem might be possible for some sophomores. Um, it says solve for x, and it gives the quantity x plus one times the quantity x plus five is equal to 21. If you want to pause and try, you can. When I look at this, you could guess and check. You know, start guessing. You could say x is zero. You try zero, and you get five equals 21. You could guess one. And you get 2 times 6 is 12, you guess 2, you get 3 times 7. So automatically, just guessing, we can find 2 as an answer. Because when you plug 2 in, you're going to get 21. But everybody, we should notice right away, x times x is x squared. That means two solutions, two solutions, all right? So we'll do it a different way. And we need 0 when we have quadratics. So. I would expand this first, and this is one of those times, this is math team, not really our classroom. We have to see that we have to have a zero. And if we don't have a zero, we've got to make one. All right, and I get x squared plus 6x, subtract 21 on both sides, and I'm going to get negative 16 equals zero. All right, and then... This problem is pretty quick now because we know one of the answers was 2. So that when we factor, this will factor. So x minus 2 is going to be 1. How about x plus 8? So there are two solutions this time because, again, zero property, right? Junk times junk equals 0. So either x plus 8 equals 0 or x minus 2 equals 0. So the answers are 2 and negative 8. And the big deal with this problem is probably taking the time and checking that these work, all right? Because you got 30 minutes and often you're sitting at the end wondering, have I, am I correct? You don't have to write it out, but you can ch quickly check it. 2 plus 1 times 2 plus 5, 3 times 7, 21. Negative 8 plus 1, negative 8 plus 5, negative 7 times negative 3, 21. All right, keep practicing. Math team's coming.